My name is Jamil Rashad Brown Jr. I'm 24 years old. I grew up in West Baltimore. There are people for whom there is a profound difference between before and after, especially people who took a bullet to the back. Can I tell you what that's called? Non-fatals. Non-fatal stand for the ones that got shot and still living. This was living before. Legs tend to shake at times. And this is the after. So is this. That's left. And so is this. I remember being on the ground saying I couldn't feel my legs. You just shuddered when you told me that. You just physically shuddered. Is that remembering? What is that reflex? Yes. Rashad Brown wanted us to show you moments like this. His uncle needing to carry him down a steep flight of steps. Rashad is paraplegic, shot six years ago in West Baltimore. I was involved with the wrong thing. What does that mean? It means I was a lost team. He was the youngest resident in a nursing home after three years in and out of the hospital. Today, he works for Amazon, handling say, returns. Because I'm really working on my independence. Mm -hmm. That's what I was fighting for. Rashad posts his fight on Instagram, where he lets people see it all, okay, got it. including the pressure ulcers on his thinning legs. We out. His physical therapy. Mm. what it takes to get out of a car. Mm. Consequences mm -hmm. of me wanting to shine is me having to get out the car just like this. Why are you putting it out there like that? Because it's the truth. Young men that's out here doing the same thing I was doing, y'all know like I know. Y'all gonna end up like this or end up dead. He wants young people who may be risking it all to know he is traumatized and misses life. I mean, I'm just getting out the car, walking, holding a hand, kissing a girl, and standing up, you know, just everything I took for granted. Using the bathroom in a regular way, walking, swimming. And there's nothing more powerful in life than being able to be an example. One of Rashad's biggest advocates is a man known as Uncle T, who runs a mentor program on East Monument Street. So sometimes it take a young, brave, brilliant young man to say, you know what, I got to speak out on this issue. It's too many young souls being lost as a result of so many being quiet. Is it tough on some of these uh, streets? Oh yeah. yeah, you know, it's rough. These streets are rough yeah. in every aspect. <laughs> Rashad Brown and his unmistakable view of his after the daily struggles of a non-fatal shooting victim, and the 24-year-old who says, with irony, he is standing up for change. You're standing up for something when you can't really stand. So I'm rolling on it. Wow. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah, really, really incredible young man. Mm. And these Instagram posts have been very therapeutic for Rashad. His uncle told me that six months ago he was mm. feeling very low and very trapped, but by putting his story out there, it's really helped change his perspective as he hopes to change the perspective of others who may watch or follow him on Instagram. I just watch his story, it's changed my perspective. I can't imagine how many times we've said expected to survive right. and you think the person is just gonna go on with life as usual and then right. Rashad's story shows you that his life Forever no, upended. Forever, you know, we'll expected to same. survive, expected to be okay. Well, this is okay. And it's, as Rashad says, not okay. It's not okay. So thank you for telling his story. That no. is a very important piece. And anyone who sees that will hopefully thank heed his message. Well, I thank him for sharing it.